Can you tell me the difference between wrong and right? This man can. His name is Knight. John Knight liked to be right. He was quite bright. In fact, before I finish saying it so, he knew rhyming his name would mess up the flow. So he got online and changed it to Nate, helping the narrator who did much appreciate. Now Nate had a problem, one we all face. It's in our culture and it's a disgrace. Now while being right was good and he good at it, it was others that were wrong and couldn't admit it. Consent matters, he thought to himself. But I, the narrator, again recite, asking you the difference between wrong and right. Listen closely to what is said. Then, these lessons hard learned you should spread. My style is my choice. Everyone has a voice. Everyone deserves respect. Something I'll never forget. Because it wasn't my fault. There's no excuse for sexual assault. My clothes are not an invitation. Be a part of the conversation. I know right from wrong. Together we are strong. I shouldn't be blamed for a crime against me. These statements are common sense. I would think we could agree. But that's just not the case, because the statistics are clear. In the military alone, over 20,000 victims last and, uh, year. 72. I joined he swats them away in disbelief. That has to be incorrect. I'll just have to check. But after checking the report, the official's yearly release, John Nate, who was always right, right there in black and white, couldn't believe his own sight. Despite these statistics, these are the facts. There's still a problem. We all need to act. An odd feeling began to take hold. Any number is too high made him feel cold. It was there in that moment, breaking the fourth wall, straight to the camera. Listen up all. Think really hard before you cast blame. The cameraman struggling to keep him in frame. Think it over and over and over again. It's happening to women and it's happening to men. It was then John Nate fully understood that you are the key to changing these numbers, maybe for good. So the question remains, if you are able, what are you doing in the month of April?